Hello, good afternoon, everybody. This is Sandy Marrero with uh, Western Marketing. Uh, today we are being joined by uh, Andy Larson with uh, National General. We will be introducing uh, on this webinar the preferred standard rate program that they have uh, come up with to make the company's uh, short to medical more competitive. Uh, I have myself uh, uh, run some quotes, and I'm very happy to know to, to let you know, guys, that this is amazing. Uh, so thank you very much for uh, in advance for attendance the webinar, and I hope that after the attendance and the training, you you, you take uh, some value out of that new uh, as much as 20% benefit uh, on on lower benefits on those. So um, with further ado, uh, Andy, are you there? I am here. Can you hear me, Sandy? Yes, I can. Beautiful. Go ahead. All right. Well, thank you, Sandy. Uh, the introductions are always uh, always exciting, and you uh, do a great job of kicking things off. So, thank you for that. It's a pleasure to be back with Western Marketing to do another uh, webinar. And uh, as Sandy mentioned, we're doing some really exciting things with our short-term medical product and implementing a rating method that is going to, as Sandy mentioned, perhaps uh, help your clients save up to 20% on their short-term medical premiums if they're qualified. So today we're gonna to talk about the, the, the preferred rating and uh, how it's an innovative concept within the short-term medical space. So whether your clients are looking for that alternative to, the, to an ACA plan that's more cost-effective, uh, absent any sort of ability to qualify for a subsidy, uh, or if it's that trailing spouse that you're looking to get coverage for, where uh, you might the 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 other spouse has turned T65 to Medicare, and you're looking to bridge a gap, the preferred rating method can uh, again save substantial dollars. We'll talk about some of the different pathways to do that, and we'll uh, give you an idea of how to quote it, and then some of the things of the mechanics of it. So as you go forward into the market with your clients and look at National General uh, for for your short-term medical clients, uh, we you'll have an idea of. Uh, what the concept is, how to go about it, and you know maybe what the best practice might be. So with that, uh, why the preferred standard rates? Uh, if you're working with clients, no matter if you are uh, thinking about uh, new business clients, those that you're gonna be rewriting, or maybe you're thinking about clients that you have with other carriers today on short-term medical and, uh, and, and thinking about bringing them to NatGen. Well, for new business um, where we have, uh, where we have competitive rates today, they're going to be more competitive, and maybe we're perhaps where we're maybe just a little bit out of the uh, out of the ballpark. The, the the preferred rates are going to bring your client back into the ballpark and even more competitive. Um, and on top of that, with National General, uh, there's going to be other uh, discounts available as well. So if your client has the ability to pay all up front for their premium, that's another 20% discount on top of the preferred rate. In open enrollment uh, for December and January effective dates, uh, beginning in two weeks, you'll be able to quote December effective dates. And for any December effective dates, you're going to be able to provide your client an additional 5% off the premium for, for, the, for, the, for the following plan year. So all sorts of discounts that uh, could apply from that standpoint. For those clients that you have already on the books today, uh, maybe they've seen some trend increases over the course, of, or, uh, for, or if they were to do a rewrite, they might see a trend increase uh, from last year to this year or two years ago to this year. Well, with the, if they do qualify for the per preferred rate, you can rewrite them and what we can call it a quote unquote, no cost increase, or in some cases, the rates may be lower than what they paid last year. And for those that you have with other carriers, if they're seeing renewal rates uh, or if they're seeing increases on their on their uh, trend and their age banding, you can bring them to NatGen if they do qualify for that uh, preferred rate, even better. Uh, and you can leverage all those other discounts as well. But lastly, as you think about the type of client you run into, um, perhaps uh, the, the, the preferred rate will help lower some of those premium dollars as well to maybe pet, uh, put in a durational component where there might be some premium, uh, uh, some premium adjustments based on the durational component. Um, in addition to that, the savings that you can provide your client can allow you to re, re, uh, redeploy your, those dollars that you're saving and provide even further protection with maximum out-of-pocket protection like, it, like a plan enhancer, accident medical expense, hospital uh, specified disease. So how does your uh, uh, client qualify? That's a great question. Uh, that's the next uh, step. In general, your client still has to qualify for short-term medical. So how you would apply today still applies, but there's gonna be a couple uh, additional criteria that your client will have to meet. 
Uh, first and foremost, this is only available in short-term medical PPO states only. So if you were to look at the availability grid, uh, if, if you were to see the states that were highlighted for our short-term medical PPO, this is where it's available only. Uh, we are in the process of, of refiling our complete uh, portfolio. Uh, the, the new short-term medical PPO have been our states that have been approved. We are still awaiting approval on approximately seven states, and, and then those will show up on the grid accordingly. It's available to primary applicants and spouses ages 18 to 64. So dependent children are not available to receive this uh, standard rate, even if you're, or, or a child only. So keep that in mind, it's just for the spouse or primary applicant and spouse age 18 to 64. Now there's going to be a few extra questions that your client are going to, that your client's going to have to answer when it comes to the preferred rating, um, and a lot of it is going to be uh, predicated on a couple things. Number one, have they had insurance coverage nine out of the last 12 months? And by uh, insurance coverage nine out of the last 12 months, we mean uh, major individual major medical, uh, a group plan, short term medical, limited medical, uh, any core product, if you will, Christian share. Uh, that will be the first criteria. Um, statistics show that uh, those that have had prior coverage, uh, actuarially shows, uh, I should say, that those that have prior coverage have a lower rate of claims uh, experience. So therefore, uh, we're able to go the, go the other way and reward that versus rating up for somebody that might have a, a condition. Non-tobacco in the last 12 months or nicotine. So that includes smoking, smokeless tobacco, uh, vaping, any, not, any uh, tobacco products in the last 12 months uh, would be a knockout. So no tobacco, uh, so it must be tobacco free in the last 12 months. The client does not own or lease a motorcycle. So maybe they have a, a motorcycle that they own or lease and it's in the name of the primary applicant. That doesn't mean it's gonna preclude, preclude the spouse from qualifying. So it can be one or the other or both. Uh, no DUI or one, more than one moving violation in the last two years. So for those that uh, uh, keep that in mind as far as the, the motor vehicle uh, violations uh, for DUI and moving, uh, the two year look back on that. No treatment for high blood, uh, high blood pressure or cholesterol or anxiety or depression in the last five years. That includes medication or doctor visits. So from that standpoint, uh, what a check, another check that we already implement on our short-term medical underwriting is once your client signs the, the uh, policy, we actually implement a what's called an IntelliScript check. It's kind of like an MIB head, if you will, if you use that service through other carriers. But the IntelliScript check is going to do a, uh, a instantaneous review or pull a, pull a database of prescriptions that, you're, that uh, the clients may have used in the past and will come back with a, uh, uh, a hit if your client is, is, has uh, taken one of these medications, maybe they didn't disclose it, forgot, or maybe tried to slip it through. Uh, but we'll talk about that more in a minute here if that, if that were, uh, were to happen uh, at that particular point in enrollment. And just like on our short-term medical for the standard qualifications, there's a weight limit, um, but for the preferred rate, we do reduce it uh, uh, down to 240 pounds for a male from 300 pounds and down to 190 pounds for females uh, instead of uh, 250. So even for the preferred rates, that's, uh, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a, by myself, a, you know, for the last few months of uh, uh, storing acorns here in the hibernation with the COVID world, uh, I'm, I push about 240 pounds myself and even I could qualify for the preferred rate. So now I've just outed myself on how much I weigh, let's continue on. But these are the, the qualifications in addition that your client will have to answer. We'll show you where to find those here on the application. So <clears throat> once you get into the system and you start uh, looking at the different possible rates and how this might, uh, might work out, uh, and a lot of it's gonna be predicated upon, uh, in fact, most of it's gonna be predicated on, does your client have that prior coverage component? And that prior coverage, again, as I mentioned, the actuarially, the outcome for claims, for those that have prior coverage is a better experience. So the preferred rates would be standard rates as they are today, uh, minus 20% per qualified adult, adult. So it can be either the primary or the spouse or both that qualify for preferred rates. So if uh, perhaps the, one, uh, the primary is 
a motorcycle owner, as I mentioned, the spouse could still qualify for the uh, preferred rate. Or if the, uh, the, the, the primary uh, has high blood pressure medication, the spouse could qualify for the, for the preferred rate. So we'll show you where you can do that here in the system in a minute and, and make sure that that rate is applied. The second possible rating outcome going forward is standard rates with prior coverage. And again, uh, the prior coverage piece is gonna be an impo important component going forward. And those rates would be the same as they are today. So uh, from that standpoint, it's the, the, the new component or the new, new method for standard rates would be having prior coverage. Now, if, they, if your client does not have prior coverage, it would, the standard rates would apply today plus approximately six to 10% depending upon the market. But at the end of the day, again, uh, we determine that those that have no prior coverage typically will have a higher claims outcome. So therefore we are segmenting the business according to uh, the risk profile that, uh, that uh, actuarially we see come back. The last one is gonna be our smoker rates. Um, we've taken a little bit of action on the smoker rates as well. So uh, you can uh, take, take into account the smoker rates would be the standard rates plus pro approximately 15 to 20%. So uh, these are the, po the possible rating outcomes that your clients may receive today. And uh, uh, from that standpoint, now it's just a matter of how do I enroll my client in the preferred standards? So we're gonna go over to Coverage Builder now. And we're going to uh, log in here as, uh, as our, uh, our username and password. We're gonna put in a zip code, just like we would before. And we're gonna add in our demographics. We'll put up a uh, husband and husband and wife, female, spouse. Now it's important to put the, the tobacco usage. Again, it's uh, no tobacco in the uh, in the last 12 months. And then here is where the first step is going to be important. You see here where it's uh, highlighted prior medical coverage. We need to make sure if your client has the prior medical coverage, and that will come up in conversation, that we're checking the boxes for prior medical coverage. And this will trigger the first step to, toward obtaining the preferred rates. Choose the effective date. Uh, starting in uh, October, you'll be able to quote 90 days out and get your client in, into the enrollments, uh, into the enrollment season if they are going to be a short-term medical client for the next year. So now the next step is to show all plans. And here is where we kind of come to a, a spot where you have a couple different directions you can go. If you are an agent that has created a preset package that has a multitude of national general products, from where here you can check on and off what product that you want to sell for your client. So for example, this particular package has the uh, plan enhancer, cancer, heart, stroke, and short-term medical, $5,000 deductible, 100%. So this total rate right here is going to indicate all these products in the cart. Now, this doesn't offer us the preferred rate though. So to get the preferred rate, one of two things has to happen. Either you can hit customize and the short-term medical piece or all these products will show up in the shopping cart on the other side, but you're gonna be able to toggle for the short-term medical and obtain those preferred rates. For sake of demonstration, we're gonna click see all plans, but we're not gonna have that package built in our shopping cart. So from here, now you'll have the ability to look at the preferred rate. So as you can see, uh, for this particular plan option right here, $250.32, as low as $200.26. So the 250 is the standard rate, but the 200 is going to be the preferred rate should the client qualify. And all your products and deductible options will show about down below. So in this particular case, we are looking at uh, a monthly payment strategy. If you want it to go to a single payment, then you can toggle down to single payment. And then the total, the total premium for that single payment for that year for this couple will show. Again, this is at a discount for what they were paying already. And so now if you look at that $1,812, divide that by 12 months. Now you're looking at a, uh, a, a average monthly premium of 
about $150. So in this case, this, the, the preferred rate was $200 by doing monthly pay. By doing a single pay, you reduce that monthly outcome or output or about monthly net to 150. So even more savings on this front. But for sake of argument, we're going to look at the monthly payment strategy. And then we're going to maybe toggle to some durational components to maybe say, well, let's look at a uh, two 12 month terms. The two 12 month terms is gonna allow your client to uh, buy two consecutive short-term medical plans on one application for a 24 month uh, coverage period. After the first 12 months, we do not do any checks for pre-existing from there on. So therefore it's a 24 month solution only doing the pre-existing pre checks in the first 12 months. Now from here, if you've, if you've decided or landed on the fact that the, the term duration is gonna be a two by 12, now you can choose your plan design and look at the preferred qualifications. So let's just say that you wanted to, you, you've gone through the criteria, you maybe did some field underwriting. Now you're going to check on this blue box to, to, under, to understand if your client does qualify. Maybe you've already asked these questions through the course of your, uh, through the course of your fact finding, through the course of your uh, field underwriting, but now you have to apply it at this point. So in this case, if they both qualify, you have to check both of those boxes and then hit the update button. Now those preferred rates will populate within the scope of the quoting tool. If you were to do just perhaps the spouse uh, cover, uh, qualifies for the preferred rates, you can check the one box, but now the rates will apply for just the one spouse or one or the other. You could, it could be multiple outcomes here. For sake of the presentation, we're gonna to go to the plan. Okay, now we've got our preferred rates. They say they qualify, all is good in the hood. So we go back to our plan, $5,000 deductible 100% for husband and wife, $238 per month. What a great savings, because if the client doesn't qualify for a subsidy and uh, they were to go to the uh, individual market through ACA, they might be paying 700 bucks a month for the two of them combined. Now at a preferred rate, they're paying $240 a month. But hey, now this may give us some, an opportunity to help with that $5,000 deductible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to this, this uh, accident tab here at the top, and I'm gonna look at a product called the Plan Enhancer. So I'm gonna look at it for a, a benefit level of $5,000. Where are you, where are you? For a $5,000 benefit for this, this product right here, for $60.48, the primary and the spouse are covered up to $5,000, wiping out that, that deductible in the event of accident. Sure, I understand. In addition, the plan enhancer also wipes out that $5,000 should they be hospitalized due to sickness for 24 hours or more. Sounds like a great deal. Now you've just wiped out the deductible in the event of those two, uh, two items. Well, what about cancer? What if they get a diagnosis that they don't like? What if they find out that they, uh, or, or start having, uh, or have family history of something, they wanna make sure that they're covered above and beyond their out-of-pocket for those events to help offset time away from work, experimental treatment, et cetera. You can go over to the cancer tab and add a cancer heart stroke plan for, uh, for, for $40 per month. And now if you, and you go into your shopping cart and you click on the details, now you'll see here, that for the first year, your client will pay $346.38 per month on a bundled bill with Nat Gen. They're only gonna see one bank draft, but then after you factor in trend from the first year to the second year, the second year going forward is for the next 12 months is gonna be $373.60. So as you can see, the 12 by two is gonna be a, uh, a, uh, a, 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 a transparent premium, a transparent option for your client and they're not gonna know what their premiums are gonna be for the next two years, and they can plan for that rate increase at the end of the first year. And the best part about the 12 by two compared to say a renewal plan or, renew, uh, or three-year plans that you see in the market, the 12 by two will pay a flat comp both years. Renewal plans are gonna zero out your comp after the first year. So that's a, that's a, a great story for your client and a great story for, uh, uh, for, for you, the agent, to, to earn that comp both years. Now, from here, if you click enroll, it's gonna begin the application process. So if we go and enter in our email address, 
And then now we're going to get into the application. Um, now it's loading all the, the policy information and product information into the application, creating a client record in the system. And uh, from here, uh, there you'll begin the first the first uh, part of the Domino's Pizza Bar. Now, uh, so we go at uh, test tester. Just going to enter in some uh, uh, dummy demographics. Here we go. On to the next uh, screen of the Domino's Pizza Bar. We are going to look at uh, test spouse. Okay, continuing on. And I operate on a test environment, so sometimes it goes just a little bit slower. But as you see in the accident tab here at the top, now we're on the accident. But because the plan enhancer has a uh, term life benefit, uh, now we're going to put in the beneficiary. And now we're going to be now we're going to be on to the short term questions. All right. So the normal questions will apply. No, no, no. Continue on. And now we're here into the, uh, let's see, it's, uh, I agree, it's, there's a disclaimer here in this particular case for Nebraska. The tobacco is going to be already baked in because the tobacco was already answered on the uh, on the uh, demographic page, so you're not going to have to answer the tobacco again. Continue on. And now we're going to have the uh, the the preferred rating questions. Even though you check those boxes on the quoting tool. The preferred rating questions have to be formally answered in the application. So the first the part is, have the adult applications had major medical coverage? Now, there's some, if you've been in this uh, space and you've been, for, for your use of doing applications and everything is no, 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 keep in mind that the question that for the prior coverage is going to ask if you've had the prior coverage. So in this case, you're going to answer yes. No motorcycle, no uh, DUI, no coverage for every, uh, the others. Um, and then now same for the spouse, no, no, no. And it's going to ask uh, height and weight. So for in this case, the height is not an important factor uh, because uh, the reason why it's in there is because that's how we have filed our application with each state. So we have to include it. But for sake of qualifying for the preferred rates, we're only looking at the weight. We don't have a build chart built. So therefore don't uh, get hung up on the weight part that's not going to be a factor in the outcome of the preferred rating. It's only going to be predicated upon the weight. All right, so now if we got that, got that information in, uh, now we have entered all the uh, questions. So now you're going into uh, uh, additional questions here. Uh, well, actually, we did the, we did the uh, accident questions. Uh, now we're into the short-term questions. So the questions prior to the preferred were actually for the plan enhancer hospital writer. So you make your, uh, your, do your questions just like you would on a normal short-term application. And then from there, as we look at our Domino's Pizza Tracker, we'll go into the cancer product and then payment and then summary. I'm gonna jump back to the PowerPoint slide now, just by, because uh, from once you're, uh, from that standpoint, all we have done is just added those questions in for the preferred standard. The height and weight have been there for some time. But once you uh, get into the application piece or the, the quoting piece, checking that blue box and going through and putting the uh, uh, making sure those preferred boxes are checked and then and the application, make sure you're formally answering those questions the right way. Those are the two precursors to getting that preferred rate through the application. 
Now, what happens uh, uh, post enrollment? Once you once you sign the client or sign the application, once uh, your client has signed the application uh, via e signature or through uh, through the, uh, the the consumer enrollment, what's going to happen is that they are going to see a pop up window appear, and what and it's going to say, "Please wait while we verify your eligibility." This is where that IntelliScript check is happening. We have to have the signature to trigger the IntelliScript. That's the authorization for that. So with the, the, the IntelliScript, should the, should the outcome be favorable, then the client will say, you're almost there. Uh, thank you for, uh, uh, your, uh, for your application. You can view the PDF of your application. Um, and here's a formal letter saying that you are good to go. Then they can click on that log out button here at the bottom and the policy will funnel into your back office and it will be submitted to National General for sake of uh, submitting the policy and setting it up based upon the effective date chosen. Now, what happens if the IntelliScript check finds that the client has taken hydrochlorothorazide for uh, high blood pressure or they're on a, gener or a name brand medication for, uh, for uh, depression or anxiety? The IntelliScript check is likely going to catch that. And if it does, it's going to uh, give a counter offer in the form of going back to the preferred rate for uh, whomever is the uh, applicant that uh, had, the, uh, had the hit. So it will go back to a preferred rate and a, an adjustment based upon uh, the uh, applicant and if there was that uh, indi in, uh, indicator for uh, a, <clears throat> excuse me, a, uh, uh, a medication taken for one of those four. And if that's the case and they get to that counter offer, they have the ability to accept it. And what they will do is they just click on the agree button or check the I agree to the, to the new offer. They hit agree and they just re-sign their application attesting that the new premium is going to be satisfactory for them. After they uh, hit that submit button, uh, pop, another pop-up box will notify, will, uh, uh, pop -up will, notif uh, will notify them that they will receive a new email with their uh, updated rate offer confirming everything. And then uh, from there, um, for, for sake of, uh, of, of the counter offer, that will be submitted and that confirmation will be approved. If they do not want the counter offer, let's just say that they say, well, you know what? We were really looking for that, that $155 rate that you see on the screen here. Um, the 190, you know what? We're, we're gonna just check we're going to check our other options or if they come back to you and say hey i got this counter offer what do i do then from there what you can do is you can actually uh decline this counter offer and then you can go back into their record in the coverage builder platform that you have start a new quote and maybe adjust that deductible and coinsurance a little bit to get back to that price point that they were looking for and that might be within their budget so just because they get that counter offer and they decline it doesn't mean we can't go back in and try to repackage that that particular offer to make it fit within their budget but if you do click if your client does click the client on that counter offer they'll just get notification that their application has been canceled and uh again you can start from there or um or, or figure out if the, if a aca product might be the best best way for them to go at that particular point so here's just a rate comparison for how you might find it with a say a month a 12 a, a 12 month plan versus a 12 by 2. We are actively promoting the 12 by 2 just because of that certainty for your agent or excuse me for your uh, of rates for your client, but for you the agent the certainty on your comp. The 3 year story is pretty nice uh in terms of the renewal plan, but the, the but what we're, we find is that when you have uncertainty on the rates for that second year and that third year Chances are your client's going to try uh, is going to approach you to rewrite that after that second or third year, and that two-year window seems to be a sweet spot or butter zone. Um, and also, too, after the first year on a renewal plan, uh, a three-year plan, uh, your commission drops out in half. So the 12 by 2 tells a great story of not only being able to uh, provide rate rate transparency for two years, but also uh, uh, comp transparency and certainty without any drops after year one. But as you can see here, if you were to look at a 12 month plan without the preferred rate uh, versus a 12 by two with the preferred rate, again, that tells a story for being able to, uh, the top rate, the bottom rate tells a story for being able to uh, uh, go the, down the duration path at a lower rate 
Many agents are still write the 12 month plan just because it's the lowest entry point, but now you have that ability with, if they qualify for preferred, for preferred rates to extend that duration as long as possible for your client. So positioning as we kind of wrap up here, um, understanding what short-term medical is and what it isn't. We always say, know your audience. Um, are they, uh, are, are, do they know that it's not guaranteed issue? Do they know it's not covering for pre-existing? Do they uh, qualify for a, a large subsidy on ACA? Uh, do they need uh, comprehensive coverage because of a, uh, a medical condition that might be requiring uh, ongoing treatment and uh, would otherwise be cost prohibitive to pay out of pocket on a short term? The best way to know this and, 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 and go down a path is to be able to understand those questions that are being asked of the, on the preferred rating, but just in short-term medical in general, and field underwrite as best as you can and make sure that you're going down the right path and not getting over your skis. Even if your client says that they, they may qualify for a preferred rate or you think it might be sketchy, but the preferred rate still pops up, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to go down the, ro the road of preferred rates. You don't have to sell the preferred rate, it's just a tool there for you to help save your clients some dollars. But, uh, you know, and, and, and maybe some other reasons why you wouldn't sell the preferred rate, maybe a, you know, a premium reduction, ergo a comp reduction. But at the end of the day, the preferred rate, uh, by not selling it, if it's available, it always, always lets a, 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 you know, a competitor come in the back door to sell that preferred rate to that client. But lastly, stretch your dollars, uh, your client's dollars. Uh, repurpose them into the out-of-pocket protectors such as the plant enhancer and cancer and that duration story again remember that and as I mentioned add the plant enhancer or any one of your uh, our, your favorite uh, national general supplemental plans uh, uh, folks these products are extremely important especially when it comes to the financial financial strength of that plan um, would you rather have your client call you up at the time of claim and say hey I owe eight thousand dollars out of pocket where am I going to come up with that or would you rather have them say, hey, thank you for recommending me that plan enhancer. Now I'm only out 250 bucks on this uh, broken leg that I had while I was playing beer league softball. So now you have the ability to tell, to, to tell a full package story for your clients. Because National General does bundle bill, you have that ability to sell that package premium as well. And here's what that preferred package might look like. In this case, it's a 40 year old male single in Des Moines, Iowa. We have a 5K 80-20 plan on a 12 by two with the preferred rate, with a plan enhancer for accident, medical expense and sickness, for cancer, heart attack and stroke for a $25,000 benefit. And again, two years of certain premium, two years of certain comp for you, under $200 bundle build one bank draft for a, a robust plan that's not only gonna cover a stop loss benefit with the short term medical plan, but also pay a benefit at the time they need it when they have that major claim or major event. So therefore now you are taking away the financial uh, stress of that particular, uh, a particular claim that might incur. Knock on wood, it doesn't, but at the end of the day, your client is in better hands with the package that's gonna cover all the bases from dollar one uh, up to, uh, you know, up to the, the stop loss piece or wherever you select those benefits to lie within the ancillary coverage. So that's it on the, on the uh, preferred rating. Um, if you uh, have a group of agents that you would like us to, to get this in front of as well and see the value of this and uh, want to, to get a little further in depth, uh, we are offering up agency trainings over the course of the next month and a half. Uh, we had our, uh, uh, more training will be upcoming in terms as we get closer to the enrollment period and we get our last system release up and running. There'll be more details to learn. Um, if you are newer to National General, we are going to be doing uh, a uh, upcoming new agent orientation, as well as our 2021 week of learning. We're going through the process of designing how that's going to look in terms of providing more, more intel, more, uh, more market factors, more uh, information on some of our new ch uh, some changes coming up that will happen in our release here in the next, uh, next two weeks as well as uh, do some just a deep dive product training to get you more connected to NatGen. So uh, be on the lookout for that. And uh, lastly, knowing that Western Marketing is uh, a, 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 very, a, a very major player in the Medicare space. Uh, we uh, had a, our, our, our senior leadership at National General conducted a Medicare summit just this morning. 
that will soon be on demand on our YouTube channel for you to check out and uh, get some intel on our uh, our movement in the senior market. So with that, um, uh, with all those training opportunities and uh, Sandy at Western Marketing uh, can guide you down the path as well, but uh, be sure to uh, reach out to your NatGen team if you have any roadblocks as well. Our success is based upon yours, so please let us know what else you might need on this front. Hopefully you picked up a nugget or two today, something that might excite you going forward. Uh, I'm gonna turn it back over to Sandy though, and uh, if there's been any questions, I'd be more than happy to entertain those. Yes, thank you very much. Uh... And I appreciate your 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 always knowledgeable uh, input on this type of product. Hey, um, I have a question or two that uh, maybe you can answer. I can answer them as well. One of the question is: Is the Plan Enhancer a standalone product? And the answer is yes. I hope that you can second that. Yep. Um, it's a standalone product. And then, if the person um, answered yes to the health questions on the preferred plan then that will knock you down to the regular standard rate. It doesn't automatically decline you. It just knock you down from the uh, preferred benefit. You can still correct. continue That's correct. processing yep. the, the application. So if yep. those are the two questions that I have. Um, and then I, as always, if you guys have more questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call back at uh, Western Marketing. And we have a team of health marketers that are dedicated to help you achieve whatever goals you're trying to achieve. And please keep a look at the medical supplement insurance uh, plans with National General. They have great pricing and great uh, benefits. Um, and then a, a bonusing system that they have in, incorporated as well that is really uh, a really good bonusing system as well. Uh, for those of you who are not contracted, uh, if you are uh, wanting to get contracted, uh, just uh, after the webinar is done, please Send me an email. And we'll send you a contracting link. Uh, that said, uh, I want to thank I, I want to thank uh, Andy Larson and and National General Team for for always being there for us and and thank you everyone for joining us today on on this webinar. So have a great day, everyone. Thank you. <laughs>